Hey, Morg. I was just going to send you a picture from my medicine cards book um, about skunk, but I just thought I'll just read it to you. So, the skunk medicine, number seven. Skunk, tell us the story, or tell me the story, so I will know it well of how to attract and how to repel. So this is about reputation. Skunk medicine, go ahead and laugh. This furry little animal has a reputation that contains a great deal of power. Due to its distinctive behavior, humans give this tiny smelly creature a wide berth. The key word here is respect. Unlike other predatory animals, skunk does not threaten your life, but threatens your senses. You know this to be true if you have ever been in the vicinity of its spray. In observing the habit patterns of skunk, it is easy to notice the playfulness and the nonchalance of its natural behavior. The I dare you attitude of this four-legged creature commands you as the observer to respect its space by mere reputation alone. Skunk is teaching you that by walking your talk and by respecting yourself, you will create a position of strength and honored reputation. The carriage of your body relates to others what you believe about yourself. There is no need to bully, aggravate, torment, or overpower other beings when your sense of self is intact. As with skunk, the resonant field of energy around your body is relayed through the senses. Self-esteem permeates the body's energy and is instantly recognized in an extrasensory level, like on an extrasensory level by others, even if our conscious mind doesn't know, like we're picking up signals from each other all of the time, and whether or not that those unconscious signals come into our awareness and we make them conscious, yeah, is like, kind of depends on what we're paying attention to or what we're focused on or what we're allowing ourselves to see. So, so learn to respect without ego what you are respect follows. So learn to assert without ego what you are. Respect follows. Your self-respectful attitude will, rep will repel those who are not of like mind and yet will attract those who choose the same pathway. As the odor of skunk attracts others of its kind, it repels those who will not respect its space. Skunk medicine people have the ability to attract others and they are very charismatic. So that's you too, you know that? You're charismatic and you're very charming and you do have like that, that glow that does attract people because of, yeah, your happy, shiny personality, you know? And yeah, and so that is very attractive to people. So skunk attracts others of its kind and it repels those who will not respect its space. So skunk medicine people have the ability to attract others and they are very charismatic. At the same time, the other side of their natural power is to repel those who seek to take energy from them without recycling the gifts that they have been that they have been given or that they have taken. So, skunk medicine people also know how to use the energy flows that will attract a lover. Some people call this sexual magic as it is akin to musk, the musk scent that animals excrete to attract a mate. It can be dangerous to leak sexual energy if you are not looking for a mate. It puts you into a games condition that may feed your ego, but not how others feel about you. If you are attracting others who have an interest in you, you are in a sense saying, I'm available. This can cause hard feelings when the truth comes out. It also leaks energy that you could have used in a more constructive way. In skunk medicine, it is good to learn how to handle energy flows. Modern psychologists call this body language. In tribal teachings, this is your personal medicine, which you are showing to others. Use your medicine well and know that you are known by your reputation. How you use your energy will either attract or will attract either honor or disgrace. <laughs> How you use your energy will attract either honor or disgrace. You may want to examine what energy you are putting out that creates your present situation. If you have chosen this symbol, you are being asked to notice the kinds of people who are attracted to you. If they emulate favorable characteristics, have enough self-esteem to recognize those characteristics within yourself. Walk tall and be proud of the accomplishments you have made. Bear in mind that what you believe about yourself is your ultimate protection. Project self-respect. So yeah, that's awesome messages and I think we all like could take a page from skunk. <laughs> Because I, I feel like, yeah, there has been a lot of 
interference and a lot of programming so that we don't respect ourselves and yeah sometimes things get turned around and we're actually going like in the opposite direction that we really want to go in because yeah we're a little disoriented so sometimes we don't know our heads from our tails and so yeah and that's in more ways than one and a pun intended there because we do tell ourselves silly tales you know and then we chase our own tails so going around in circles and creating like the same dynamics again until yeah until we don't until we decide to okay i got the message you know so, um skunk in the reverse position so skunk medicine operating through the contrary or reversed position indicates that your self-esteem may um, seem to others as if you are putting on airs Observe whether or not you are repelling others in your vicinity because of envy, jealousy, or a projection of their low, low self-esteem. Examine your feelings. Be truthful with yourself. Write the situation by assuming the attitude of skunk, nonchalance. So, it's like, it's okay. I know I'm alright. I'll just be over here, doing my own thing. <laughs> so, in assuming nonchalance, you are neutralizing the effects of leaking energy. In leaking vital energy, you may be stinking up your environment. This is similar to dumping all of your woes on anyone who will listen. If you are doing this, it may be time to shut your mouth and go within. You may also be leaking sexual energy and repulsing the object of your interest. That person may be too shy to tell you to lay off. Look deeply at your self-image and how others are reacting to it. The balance that, cause, that causes and affects of your actions and energy flows, you must decide whether or not you need to spray in the direction of others to repel their envy, greed, jealousy, or over-amorous tendencies. So to balance the causes and effects of your actions and energy flows, you must decide whether or not you need to spray in the direction of others to repel their envy, greed, jealousy, or over-amorous tendencies. On the other hand, you need to always maintain your right to be. Self-respect is the key to all of these situations, whereas ego is merely what you believe yourself to be. Skunk says, if your ego is not your amigo, then you know it stinks. So, what wants to be said about that? It's like, yeah, sometimes we choose things because they are like instantaneously, like they instantaneously gratify us, but it's maybe a substitution for like, that nourishment that we really do need but we're just sometimes settling um, for something else because we don't believe that we can receive for ourselves like what we really do want in certain ways and so we can cock block ourselves in those ways um, yeah by replacing like what we really want with something that's easy convenient or familiar or known yeah in some of those ways but yeah i did send you a couple of videos and i'm not sure if i did share about like skunk in like all three of them but i know that they relate to like certain lessons that relate yeah about sexual energy and about certain dynamics that uh, are no longer working and sometimes it does take like something funny to happen on the outer stage yeah to kind of show us like yeah what is what we can shift or what we can change um within us and within our own minds and within our own lives like the relationship that we have with ourself that changes all the other relationships that we have with everyone else and so i hope that helps and i would love to talk with you about like this because i have been also like looking more into like my patterns and um like how I want to honor my sexuality in certain new ways and um, really, yeah, be able to talk about it more freely as well. Like, and that's interesting. So yeah, thanks for sharing with me and I love you. And man, I'm sorry about all the shittiness and uh, the smelly situations that are raining down. And yeah, but I love you and I am proud of you and I celebrate you and I am excited for you and this new discovery and all the choices that you get to make for you. So I love you always. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye for now.